I'm Eileen. Hi, I'm Sherry. I have four food allergies. Our goal is to provide delicious meal ideas your whole family will enjoy. Today we're making meatball soup. No, Sherry, it's albondigas al chipotle. That's what I said. <laughs> In our recipe, there are two parts. There's a tomato soup and there are meatballs. In our tomato soup, we have tomatoes, garlic, white onion, oregano, and chipotle and adobo. In our meatballs, we have beef and pork. We're gonna be hydrating the breadcrumbs, gluten-free breadcrumbs, and Sherry's hazel cream, just egg for the binder, and of course, salt and pepper. Sherry, you come help me for a minute. Absolutely, Eileen. The first step in this process is to hydrate the gluten-free breadcrumbs with Sherry's hazel cream. Takes about 10 minutes. In the tomato soup, I'll be blending garlic, onion, tomatoes, chipotle, oregano, salt and pepper, and adding water to make the soup. Tomato soup. Eileen, I don't know what this is. Would you please explain what it is and how you use it? I'm happy to explain it. It's called a china cap, and it's a method to remove the solids. We're going to be using it today for our tomato soup. What you do, to just to demonstrate, you pour the liquid into the inside of the china cap, and then you use this, and the liquid is removed through the pores of the china cap, and the solids stay inside. I'll let you do this part of it. How does that sound? You hold that. Here we go. Oh, it's kind of splishy splashy. So Sherry's now rubbing the wooden dowel against the sides of the china cap. And it's forcing the liquid outside of these pores and keeping the solids inside. So we'll have a smoother soup. In traditional Mexican cuisine, the cook would be making the soup over the open flame. That's what I'm imitating today. I'll be cooking this for 10 minutes. The next step is to make the meatballs. Sherry's going to help me with blending. We're gonna use gloves today. It just makes a little neater. Beef and pork. Let's start with that, Sherry. Then our soaked breadcrumbs, Sherry's hazel cream. Just egg. Oregano, we've got the glove there, stick that in. Salt and pepper. I bet kids would love to do yeah. this. Yeah. We're ready to make the meatballs. Each meatball will be two ounces. If they're the same size, they will cook at the same rate. is boiling. Now we're going to add the meatballs to the soup. Cook them for about 45 minutes. Choosing your raw ingredients for this recipe is really important. I used hothouse tomatoes because they have a higher moisture content. Aroma tomato is good for a salad or something where you need lots of solids, but I wanted moisture. I wanted the nice tomato essence and that's why I used the hothouse tomatoes. Now we're ready to plate the meatballs in the tomato sauce. Three meatballs per serving is what's recommended. Oh, this looks beautiful. <coughs> A little 
cilantro for garnish. There we have albondigas. Let's taste the albondigas soup. Looks delicious. Thank you for watching our video. We'll see you next time.